Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video shorts for the Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm just going to show you how to log on uh, to the internet to download uh, the latest drivers and uh, the latest uh, updates for your Embroidery Studio E4.0. I'm self selected Firefox and in the address bar I'm going to click and just type in www.wilcom.com america.com I'm going to press enter uh, whatever web, web whatever web uh, browser that you go to you'll just log on to that web browser and just type that in once you get to our web page uh, you'll navigate to the support drop menu and you'll choose download center in the download center you'll see uh, several options that you have uh, you can type in if there's something specific that you need uh, here your e4 updates um, if you have not updated to the latest uh, version of the e4 you will just double click on this option here and what you do with that basically you're just going to save the file and you're going to save it to your uh, normally your, your download folder on your computer and once it finishes downloading from there uh, you will uh, make sure that you disable your antivirus before you do the installation as you click on the install and it begins to install uh, you just follow the prompts uh, at the end you'll just restart your computer and um, when your computer restarts you will go back into your software and your software should be updated at that point I'm going to cancel this. Um, as I scroll further down, uh, you'll see the drivers. Okay, at some time or another, uh, sometimes whether you have a Windows update or you can have an antivirus software update, um, you may experience the driver being uh, quarantined or deleted from your computer. Uh, and what you will have to do then is you just again go to your web browser. You'll type in www.wilcomamerica.com. Um, you will select the support drop menu scroll down to downloads you will scroll down here to your drivers and this will be the uh, the latest driver for the E4 program here it will also give you some information about the driver also underneath that driver basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna double click it as so and you're gonna download that driver okay um, and you could uh, choose sometimes you'll have an option to open with uh, just choose just click on save file and click OK and save that to your computer and it usually downloads into the download folder on your computer that's gonna do it for our video short for today and well and as always we ask you to visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you and have a good day